Hi guys, I'm Karen. Welcome to another exciting video. I'm going to create a green look choosing just one shade of four Colourpop palettes that I have here. I'm going to show them to you in a minute. I just want to apply my eyeshadow primer before I start and I'm using my uh, MAC paint pot in soft ochre. So I'm just using my finger and just applying it because I want to give it a few, I don't know, a few seconds, a minute to dry before applying the eyeshadows. I find that that way they work better for me. Yeah, I love this paint pod. I think this is perfect. Well, I have it for I think before COVID, I bought it. it, was the last thing I bought before COVID hits us, so more than two years. And still, I have a lot of product. Well, I'm not using just this one, but this is my favorite, definitely. I have another one by LA Girl that I love as well. It's called the HD eyeshadow primer or something like that. It's in a stick and I really love it as well. So you have high-end and drugstore options let's see all the palettes that i have from colourpop now i have this one this one is called fly away i'm just showing you the outer package so we can see the name it came in a bundle and this is how it looks like from the inside okay maybe like that or maybe i'll open it definitely better this one looks so beautiful and so this is one palette the other one is well as i said all are going to be color pop this one is called sprinkle sprinkle a little magic and i will sprinkle a little magic look at that this is just gorgeous and the middle shade the pixie dust is just divine another one that i want to use is Lush Life and this is how it looks like we have well these greens here and the last one is an oldie but a goodie it's called at forest site this is the palette it has three options you have these two here and this one here, which is also a green. Okay, and I don't know, did, which one did I show you? These two, right? Yeah, these two and this one. thought for a second that I showed you these two by mistake. So these two and this one are the greens in this palette. So I'm going to choose just one color of each palette and well... Maybe we'll do a bingo. Okay, let's do a bingo. Why not bingo? Do I have the counter or I have I erased it by now? Or let's just go to um where are you? Yeah, the play store. And we'll take a um, counter, random, random number generator, is the one that I already have. No, we have to install one, so let's install one. Now, what inspired that uh, idea? I mean, basically at the beginning, I didn't mean to do it as a bingo, I just thought I will randomly ch choose myself from the green shades in each palette but now that i'm thinking about it i don't know i think that doing it bingo style is much better it's more enjoyable at least for me <coughs> okay just because it is first i'm going to start with this one this one i said has three numbers this 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 one at first sight has three 
shades that are green so I'm picking a number between one and three and where okay and this is we have to hit here the red one three okay which is the third one oh I should have okay we'll do it again I'm just going to show you so it's going to be one two three okay so let's just choose a, num a number number another number did I hit it yeah two okay so two is this one here so let it is called let it rain no this one here uh, fiddle ahead so it's called fiddle ahead and it is an olive green shade So this is going to be the first shade of this palette. Next palette that I have is this one, which is called Fly Away. Always forget the name. So this one has four greens. So I need to change to four greens. So let's go to this first page and change to one to four. And let's see how we're going to start from here. So one, two, three, four, okay? So let's hit the number. And the number we have is another two, okay? So as I said, one, one, two. So this one is called Astral Lens, which is a shimmery, beautiful color. And this is number two, which is very similar. It's well, this one is a matte, this one is a shimmer, but they are from the same range. Okay, and Sprinkle a Little Magic has five greens. Five greens, so we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I need to change the settings again to five. So let's change the settings to five. So one from five, four. Okay, so I said one, two, three, four, five. So this is four. This is called Sleep, which is a green, vibrant green mat. So vibrant oh my god my finger thinks so as well okay last one is from lush life which has two greens no this is not a green this is a gold right it's not a green yeah it's a gold so I have two so one two one is the light two is the dark let's change the settings again to two my fingers are dirty and don't want to accept my fingers. So one from two. I'm, 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 yeah, I want to say, I'm guessing two. So two was the dark one, right? Yeah, this is what I said. One, two, if I'm not mistaken. So two is called on the pro, proud. Mm really really dark green so I don't have anything light that's a bummer look at that so we have two olive shades and two very very vibrant greens and we need to create a look with all of these beautiful shades because this is what a bingo is so I'm going to start with the lightest shade which is this shade here it was in the Tinkerbell this beautiful vibrant green Ooh, my finger is so dirty well of course I'm using my colorful brush this is called the E2 I got it in the Lemoncello collection oh I should have taken Lemoncello I think there is also greens there but okay side sidetracking okay so I'm taking this vibrant green 
and it looks like it's going to have a lot of fallout so i will tap off the access let's set the mirror and let's start well all of my regular brushes are at the cleaners i clean them and now there are waiting for them i am waiting for them to dry so i'm using brushes that i usually don't use which is going to be a challenge as well this is the vibrant green this is a beautiful color so i'm just adding it above my crease and in my crease yeah just like that okay and now so you're going to sleep now and now i'm going to take from lush life this very vibrant green and I'm going to take it on a um, flat brush let's see if this one also has a lot of fallout not a lot but it does has fallout okay I'm applying it to two-third of the lash just like that very high quality this lash life one of the best ones in my collection i love this one a lot so i'm just applying it to the outer corner and about two-thirds of the way and let's add some more because this is a very beautiful shade I took off the axis but I will have to check at the end if I have fallout or not. Wow! Okay, I want to add from this same shade to the lower lash line. Now I don't have my beautiful brush but I don't think this brush is going to do well in the under eye section so I'm just going to take a small angle brush I usually well lately ever since I bought it I'm using my refer number two brush for the lower lash line and as I said it's in the cleaners so I am using it applying it sorry halfway and i applied it in the outer and inner well basically what i mean is that i uh, applied it on the lower lash lower lash line and in the water line that's exactly what i meant So far I love the result okay now I have two shades one is a matte one is a shimmer so I'm going to start with the matte the matte was at first sight if I'm not mistaken yeah this is it beautiful matte green olive shade I'm just taking another color pop brush this is uh, E21 and I'm just taking from this shade here, no access, and just applying it to the inner corner. Now, what inspired that look, that idea, was a relatively new Urban Decay palette. What's the name? Something with green. 
forgot i'll pop it on the screen so i watched a lot of videos about this palette deliberating if i should buy it i watched angelica nyquist and heather austin but i don't know i'm not sure that i need it so just gave me the urge to do something green I'm not sure when it launched but I don't know if I should buy it it's beautiful it looks beautiful I don't have any eyeshadow palettes by Urban Decay really love the quality of at forest sight as well the last one that we have to try i always forget the name is fly away <laughs> i don't know why not rememberable palette i guess fly away and i'm taking the middle shade astral lens so i'm taking it with the same brush and just flipped it to the other side and let's get some shimmer on nope we need to wet the brush or use my finger so let's take the pinky finger and try using my finger if it won't work then we'll go to a wet brush so i'm taking my other pinky i find that applying it with the pinky works better for me because I have relatively large fingers okay so I'm going to take from the same shade just taking a pencil brush from the same shade to the lower lash line So this is what really inspired a green look for today but I thought let's do it my style and as I said I didn't plan to do a bingo but I'm really glad that I did I wouldn't have thought about creating this look if it weren't for the bingo that's for sure now I'm going to wash my hands and apply mascara and I will be right back I'm back I have mascara on and this is the final look I personally think that it turned out beautifully uh, as I said before if I needed to pick myself the shade the shades myself it wouldn't turn out like that i wouldn't have thought of doing a vibrant green at the outer corner and an olive green at the inner corner i don't know i wouldn't have thought about it but i really love it i think it turned out beautifully what do you think do you like this look would you create it if you had this palette at home let me know in the comments section down below i'm really curious so let's just i'll show you the one that i use so from fly away i use the middle shade uh, in my inner corner both up and down yeah up and down yeah correctly and <laughs> at first side I use this green here which is called fiddle head so I used fiddle head and from lush life I used this vibrant green here at the outer corner on the prowl and at last from sprinkle a little magic i use this vibrant green here which is called sleep okay so this is everything from me well if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up look what a beautiful thumbs up so beautiful 
okay thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it write something in the comment section down below do you have these palettes did you try them okay did you ever try this kind of combination of colors let me know do you like to see these kind of videos also let me know and don't forget to subscribe before you leave join my little family here on youtube and click the notification bell that way you will know whenever up i'm uploading a new video and with that said i will catch you all in my next video bye